What is up guys, it is Robert of Movies with me and welcome to the Commuter Movie Review. Now this movie was directed by Juame Cal or Juam Calatzera. I know I butchered that name, sorry. But it stars Liam Neeson and actually the, the Conjuring couple, but a lot more other people too. But the main guy, you know, you got Liam Neeson. Now this movie is a Liam Neeson movie, <laughs> definitely. Uh, basically, Liam Neeson is an everyday man who uh happens to go on a train that one day all of a sudden this woman comes up to him and says how would you like it if if uh if you get a hundred thousand dollars but you just do one little thing just just just, just one little thing then it uh, death death happens um there won't be any spoilers in this movie review uh because there are technically twists in this movie but twists that i personally don't feel are very justified but Anyway, let's talk about The Commuter. I don't think this movie is bad. Nah, I don't even think, but I don't think this movie's good. It's an okay movie. I think <sighs> there are, there's fun to have here. There's some pretty damn good action scenes, especially what I really like is that somehow they really stretch this all into one train. This whole movie was shot onto one train. That's pretty cool. I like the idea of that. And, uh, I mean, it was, it wasn't a bad movie. It was, it was kind of enjoyable you know there was a good amount of points where i'm like yeah this this ain't bad but it just feels so generic (laughs) you know they feel feel like yeah it's got like an interesting plot but especially the last 20 minutes for me felt like that could have been gone ended it in some different way because dude i feel like the 20 minutes start feel like woof. i thought this was gonna end 20 minutes ago but it doesn't and it's not like those 20 minutes are even that, or like black, bad or anything, but they're just, eh, they're very eh for me, you know? And I, it was, listen, it was actually shot really well. It was, it was a, it's a well shot movie, you know? And it, it's acted well, you know, Liam Neeson does, does that usual Liam neeson role. And I think it's fine. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. And actually, they were actually able to make you kind of care about, what Liam Neeson was trying to do because they start to get his family involved. And there's a pretty good montage scene in the beginning where I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. Where basically you see him doing his everyday life and he would wake up, he would wake up, he would wake up, he would wake up. And then all of a sudden, goes to the train, goes to the train, goes to the train. You know, like they kept repeating. So it'd be like, wake up different seasons, uh, 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 talk to his wife in different uh, scenarios, and it was cool because at least you got to see more of the wife and, and his son, which would make them grow a little bit of attachment. You know, not like a full blown movie, and that's one of the reasons I think it's kind of a down point where you don't really care for. There's not a huge like uh, toll on you for for thinking about their his family because you know family's not in it for long so you don't really 100 percent care but it's just the fact that it's someone's life that's going to be hurt so that's why you care but other than that there's not in the story of the movie is there really a point where you're like oh i care about liam neeson's family that much now like i said this movie wasn't actually bad i thought this movie was going to be trash but it really wasn't there is fun to have i think more people if you go into a mindset where you're just like fuck it it's a liam neeson thriller People are really going to enjoy it, guarantee you, because I already hear people enjoying it. I hear people, the everyday man, going into the movie theater saying, this was a good movie. How can you say it was okay? Because I've seen enough movies to really just see an okay movie, you know? Basically, what I'm saying is this. If you're going into a movie just to watch a movie for fun, you could watch The Commuter and you can enjoy it. But if you're looking into just a, a, a bit more of a deeper, you know, more fun, more original action movie. You just don't really have one, to be honest, right now. (laughs) You could maybe watch, like, Jumanji, but even that's okay to me. Um, But Commuter is suitable for its audience, and I think those people will enjoy it. For me, I thought it was okay. Overall, I'm going to give The Commuter a 6 out of 10. It's an okay movie. Like I said, you could have fun with it. There's certain character elements that happen throughout the movie that are like, all right, I guess that's shocking. Sure, I guess. But it doesn't really affect you because you don't really see them interact all that much. 
throughout the whole movie. So you're kind of like, okay. <laughs> but yeah, guys, let me know what you thought about the commuter. Did you like it? Did you not like it? Let me know down in the comments below, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. <sighs>